Hey guys, Paul Kepner here with PK Productions, and today I was going to talk about a slider. I've been wanting to get one for a while and, and looked around at several different places. Um, huge price difference in, in a bunch of different sliders, but I didn't need anything high dollar, just something simple. Um, I was looking around and on Amazon, I found this one. It's made by Studio FX. Uh, it was 105 with free shipping if you have Amazon Prime. This one's a 40 inch slider and the they have one that's a 32 inch and it's right at 100. I decided to go with one that was a little bit bigger. Uh, gives you a little extra room for sliding so when you're editing you get a little bit more room to, to work with. The cool thing about this is this is very very sturdy. Uh, solid machine billet aluminum. Um, you've got stainless steel guide rails on the inside. I don't know if you can see them right here. Uh, Feet here, easy, come off, very easy. Watch this, pop off, very simple. The nice thing, uh, if you ever plan on getting a slider and putting like a monitor or anything else on it, it has quarter inch and 3 16 uh, bolts right here, uh, threaded holes here on the ends. And let's see if you can see it, right here on the bottom. Three different spots on each end and same thing right here in the middle. So you can pretty much mount this to anything. You can mount it to two tripods, uh, have it angled, you, you know, one tripod, and you can have one end mounted on a table. Uh, it's, it's a, I was very surprised. For, for 105, you definitely get your money's worth with this thing. Um, the slider, or the carriage, I don't know if you can see it, I'll try to get a close up, but right here, You've got a little, uh, a little knob, or not a knob, but a um, little bumper, a little rubber bumper to give it some friction. So if you're sliding, say if you have the tripod or the uh, slider up like this and you have your camera mounted, it just doesn't fall straight down. It gives it a little bit of friction to slowly go down. But somebody was asking, how smooth is it? And this thing, very smooth. I mean, couldn't ask. Like I said, I was, I was very surprised about it. Another really cool thing that I like about this that I haven't seen on some other ones, and I'm sure you could, but it may be a little bit more work involved. On this one, let me take this leg off again and show you. You have these three bolts right here on the bottom, these little Allen bolts. If you take this off, the cool thing is a lot of sliders, to clean the tracks it's very difficult. On this one, you take these out, three bolts, this whole end piece comes off and these rails on the inside that this carriage rides on slides out. So you can completely disassemble this thing with three bolts here. Take it all apart, completely clean it, re-grease it, put it back together and you're ready to go. Um, once you take this end off, you loosen this, this thing slides completely off and you're good to go. Uh, got a bubble level. I don't know if you can see it right here. So that way, if you want to keep it nice and level. These feet, again, I'm surprised at the construction. It's machine billet aluminum. Uh, very sturdy. Micro adjustable feet. Now you don't have, uh, I've seen some of the sliders where the feet, the actual legs are adjustable different. This one you can't do that. Like I said, it's just the feet that are adjustable, but it, it goes on and off very easy. Um, I want to get some shots for you so you could see how smooth this is. And in my mistake, I was thinking I could use the head on my tripod to put on here when this ladder arrives and show you some shots, but I wasn't thinking. And my tripod head is a, a bowl head, which won't fit on here. So, the only thing I had, just temporary, and I've, I've ordered another head, waiting for it to come in, is the little adapter that I got that uh, came with my LED light. So, I wouldn't put anything heavy on it, not with this thing, but I just, I put that on there, put a light camera on there, just a couple of sliding shots in the backyard, in the front, just to give you an idea of, of what it does. Um, also, this is a quarter inch bolt. It comes with a 3 16 adapter that goes on here. So you can use either side or either size. And 
comes with uh, let me put this over here don't want to hit everything oh this is the jib uh, I was telling you guys about before I'm going to be I'm in the process of doing a review on that as well I've ordered a monitor so as soon as the monitor comes in I'll get back to this um, comes with a nice case let you see sorry it's a little hot in here so I'm sweating but nice case to carry your slider in comes with a little bag here that you take the feet off and you put in I carry a little microfiber cloth just to kind of wipe the rails off before I slide it and it, it works really well um, like I said it has carrying handles and shoulder strap so works really well but if you are in the market for a slider you definitely cannot go wrong with this one uh, you may not want the long one, the, the 40 inch. They have a 32 inch and a 24 inch, I believe. I think the 24 inch is right around 80 bucks, if I'm not mistaken, 80, 90 dollars, somewhere around there. But uh, again, with Amazon Prime, you get the free shipping and everything. Um, I can't really say anything bad about this. It, it, I'm thoroughly impressed with it. I mean, it is solid chunk of metal. The uh, I saw some reviews somebody was talking about the the uh, little tips on the feet they're not rubber they're nylon so if you have a hard surface something like a uh, hardwood floor uh, a desk or something like that and it's going to be sliding I found a, a real easy fix for that if you go to the local hardware store I went to Home Depot they actually make little rubber bumpers to put on the ends of rods and they fit on here perfect a little rubber a little black rubber just fit them on there and they stick on there i mean not with glue it's it's like i said it's a little um, a hollow bumper that just slides kind of like the, what you put on the bottom of feet on uh, chairs same thing just put them on here you can have any slippery surface and this thing's not going to move or go anywhere but um, um, for 105 you definitely definitely get your money's worth out of this thing like I said it's it's very smooth I, I can't say anything bad about it um, the only thing I wish is that again the feet were adjustable not the I mean not the the legs were adjustable and not the feet so then I could position them or you know if I set it down here and something's high over here I could move this leg up but other than that for the price you can't beat it you, you just cannot beat it. Um, I've been told that the Studio FX sliders, uh, you can find them online in a couple of different uh, brand names that they just rebrand it. Probably so. I mean, there's a lot of companies out there that do that. But um, definitely, uh, I'll show you some shots that I took when I was outside earlier. So uh, take a look at these. Again, it's not going to be, uh, it's a good slide. It's not going to be perfect because of this head. And if you'd like, I'd be more than happy to redo them, uh, re-edit it after I get a, the new head in and, and mount it on here. But it gives you a rough idea of how well this thing slides. Like I said, I just put that on there, mounted the camera on there and slide like that. So. It's very good. So take a look at these videos and uh, I think you'll like them. Okay, welcome back. 
as you saw the, the one out by the pool nice and smooth I had it moving from one side and then to the other take a look at the the water falling over it, it's a nice smooth slider again this thing not ideal but it's all I had at the moment so um, but like I said for 105 it's a very good deal and and I'll be sure and leave a link for it in the description of the video so that way if you are interested in one you can pick one up uh, when I ordered mine there was man there were, I think they had 60 or 70 available so they have they've quite a few and shipping got here quick I ordered it on a Monday I believe Monday or Tuesday and it got here Thursday so they they definitely get it out pretty fast to you but if you like this video if there's anything else you have questions about definitely please let me know in the comment section if you want to stay tuned and see about the jib or anything else that we're doing reviews on definitely uh, subscribe like and follow it but until next time this is Paul Kepner again with PK Productions and I'll see you next time thanks